Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am very excited because I'm going to be testing out some Primark makeup which everyone is talking about at the moment. Like every girl, guy, the grandma is talking about makeup from Primark. I'm going to be doing um, a full face first impressions. Yeah, let's get into the video. So I've already gone ahead and done my primer and you might be thinking, well Caroline this is a first impressions video, why have you done your primer? I'll tell you why. When I was in Primark looking for a primer, I came across one, I can't remember what it was called, but it was in like a white tube and it was like a stick primer and I was like, oh there we go, this is going to complete my look, this is all I need. And I went over and there's about five left and when I picked each one up, all of them were open, all of them had makeup on, were like missing chunks out of the stick and just looked an absolute mess and I was like, I am not putting any of those on my face, so... That's a no from me, I'll just use my own primer. And I was so annoyed because it was the only thing left that I needed to complete the makeup look and everyone had had their grubby hands on them. So thanks for that people who went into Primark and destroyed the primers. So yeah, we'll move straight into foundation. And this one I'm super excited about because everyone has been telling me about this foundation, everyone is talking about this foundation and it is the PS My Perfect Colour. And everyone is talking about it because it's supposed to be a dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear. So I'm very excited to try it and see if it actually is or if it's just one of those things that goes around. And the fight to get this in my colour, I picked it up in ivory and there was either porcelain or toffee. And I mean, I'm neither of those things. So let's give this a try. Okay, so at the moment it is exactly like Double Wear. It's just in a glass bottle, no pump or stick. So I'm just going to pour some onto my hand. Oh, it's not, oh it's quite slow coming out. Well that might be a bit too much. <gasps> Never mind. Okay, the colour looks pretty similar to the one I've got in Double Wear. I'm a cool born in Double Wear. And that looks, I don't know if you can see, it looks pretty much the same. I've got a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to pop that on. And let's see how this goes. Not looking too bad at the moment. It actually does look very similar to the double wear. When I say it's not as high coverage, I mean this looks like a, a bit of a light to medium but I don't know if that's just because I'm not putting that much on. It might take a while for me to cover my cheeks because I've got a lot of surface area to be working with here. So far it actually is looking really similar to the double wear. I mean the colour is perfect. I'm so glad I found this ivory because I was really worried that it wasn't going to match. But it's not looking too shabby right now. Yes. Just get that into the neck so we don't have streaky chins. I'm really, really impressed. The people that I've told that I've bought this have been like, tell me what it's like when you've used it. Well, everyone, it's bloody damn good. 10 out of 10. Five pound, by the way, compared to 32 pound for the double wear. I mean, this is the one. And I'm going to go in with concealer. And the only concealer that I could find is this. Oh, that was quite stiff. This stick one. And I'm not a huge fan of stick concealer. I don't know if I've said this before. It's not my thing. But I'm going to give it a go because it was the only one that was there. So let's test it out and see what it's like. So again, this is the PS My Perfect Colour. And I got this in ivory as well because there was no other lighter shades to choose from. Ideally, I would like it to be a bit more brighter and not match the foundation. But, you know, work with what I've got. So I'm just going to pop that under my eyes. Ooh. It is a bit stiff to apply, but I mean, that's the same for all stick concealers, I think. Although it is coming off quite creamy and it's pretty bright, isn't it? Like it's not 100% matching the foundation, which I like. Like I'm really surprised. So I'm just going to take the Beauty Blender again and blend it in. And it blends in really nice. Are we looking a bit brighter? I think we are. And this side. Oh my god, I am so impressed at Primark makeup. They are absolutely killing it. All of you Primark staff who are having to work and restack all the beauty sections, I give you a round of applause because, you know, the shelves were absolutely like, like a bomb had gone off, like abysmal. And I feel really sorry for the staff having to come and restock it all the time. So next I'm going to go on with, oh, by the way, that was, I think this was 90 pence. Like, I'm not even lying. And I mean, look at that. 90 pence, less than a pound. I mean. So next I'm going to go on to powder and I'm using the PS My Perfect Colour again in ivory. So like the only bad thing I'll say is the shade range isn't extensive but I mean it's 
pre-MAC, like, what'd you expect? It's no Fenty Beauty. I mean, it's done a good job, hasn't it? So, so I'm gonna take the Mattifying Powder in Ivory again. This was two pound. And let's see what's in it. Okay, so it comes with a little mirror and a sponge, but we don't use those. Oh, it's got like a little plastic sealy thing on as well. Oh, I broke it. Some of the powder just fell out. Well done, Caroline. Excuse the mess that it is now, but it just looks like that. It looks a bit darker than I would want it to be, so I'm hoping it matches, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna swill. Oh, that was a lot of fallout. I don't know why I smell that. I thought it had like a scent, but it doesn't. Is it leaving dark marks on my face? Mm, I don't know if it's leaving like patches of where the colour's like different to my foundation. Yeah, see on my forehead I can see that. If you can grab a shade lighter than the foundation, that might be a bit better. But I mean, you can blend it in. It's not a big deal really. My skin feels really soft and it looks matte, so jobs are good in. And next I'm gonna move on to contour. And I'm very excited about this because, I mean, I'll just show you it. Oh, glare off the window. You're thinking, is this KKW Beauty? No, it's not. It is pre-mark in the nudes collection. And I've never tried the KKW Beauty before because your girl's poor, but I'm very, very excited to try this. Let's whack it open. Oh, it's like Christmas day. And this was eight pounds. And you get a highlight duo stick, a contour duo stick, a brow highlighter and the blending brush. The only thing I would say about this is there's no shade range. I was looking for like maybe a light section or a dark section, but there's just the one package and I know that this might not suit me. It might not suit everybody because we're all not the same. So I'm gonna give it a go and hope for the best. So I'm gonna take this brush. Oh, it's really soft. Oh, it's quite pink as well. Can you see that? It's like, oh, that's so soft. And the sponge is quite soft as well, which is good. So we've got the Cream Contour Dual Stick. I mean, that. <sighs> oh dear, it's very dark. Does it have one on the other end? Well, that one's a bit lighter, is it? Yeah, that's a bit lighter, can you see? Than that one. I mean, it's still quite dark for my skin tone. Oh, I'm a bit scared to use this. Also, I just let you in a little secret that I've never actually cream contoured before. I know, what am I doing? Where have I been? But it really scares me. So this is the first time doing it. If it looks a mess, don't at me. <laughs> Do I suck in? Oh my God, I'm such a, what's the word? Amateur, that's the one. Okay, so here we go. That's pretty smooth, so very creamy, and it just glides on. Am I doing it in the right place? I don't know. Is that right? Okay, we'll do that for now, and then I'll blend it in. Shall I do my forehead and stuff? Shall I be brave? Why not? There, and there. I'm not gonna do the nose, because I ain't gonna ruin it. So I'm just gonna take this end of the brush and try and blend that in. Maybe this was a mistake. It's not, I feel like it's disappearing. I mean, it's very streaky, isn't it? What if I try and just like dab it? Well, that's a bit better. Okay, that's not too bad. Can you see that? Does that still look streaky? We'll try this side. I mean, it's not the most blendable product that I've ever used. And I feel like it's more Making my skin red from all the rubbing. And now we'll do the forehead. Oh, actually, I don't mind that. Although, it's kind of rubbing away the foundation. Like, my, my natural skin is coming through. Maybe I need to not do it so harshly. But I feel like if I don't do it harsh enough, it's just not blending. Okay, so I'm not a fan of the contour stick, I must admit. What do we think? I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's not the best. So next, I'm gonna go in with the, not the contour stick, the highlight stick, and let's see. 
So on this end we've got this shade. It looks like a, I want to say like pearly yellowy white sort of colour. Let's see what's on this one. Oh, what is this? Can you see that? That is yellow. I mean, is this a highlight shade for The Simpsons? Let's try that on. How on earth is that a highlight? Please tell me. It looks kind of orange on the skin. Yeah, I won't be using that side. Oh, I'm a bit scared to do this now. Okay. So I'm just going to take this end and try and highlight. <laughs> is that even doing anything? I feel like I'm just colouring in my skin now. Oh, that's a bit glowy. And I'll do this side. Okay, so it is a little bit glowy, but I am having to like repeat, you know, the application. It feels a little bit sticky as well. And I feel like I might actually break this, so I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Okay, so I'll just do my nose. Cupid's bow, forehead. Let's give that a blend, I think. Will I use a sponge side? Let's use a sponge. Oh, that was a horrible noise. I don't feel like this is doing much. I feel like it's kind of just wiped the highlight away rather than blended it in. And that's quite hot, like a harsh sponge. You can see like the lines where I applied it. It's not blended in very well. Mm, so there's a little bit of a glow there. I can see that, but it's not like overwhelming, like put your sunglasses on because you're dazzled. So the nudes, um, contour duo. I don't know how I feel about that at the moment. I mean, yeah, it's a thumbs down. Sorry, Primark. This is the brow highlighter, and that looks more like a highlight stick. I'm gonna go in with the on my brow bone and see how that looks. Anything? There's a tiny, like a faint. Oh, there we go. It looks better that side. So there's a faint glow. I mean, am I might. Oh, that's better. I'm like. Use the brow highlighter for the normal highlighter. Why not? So next, I'm gonna go on to... Is it time for the eyes? It's time for the eyes. Oh my god, finding an eyeshadow palette in Primark that wasn't completely smashed was a chore. I mean, even this one has got someone's fingerprint on it, but this is the only one that I could find that, you know, wasn't falling to pieces. And even there, like the silver one, it's a little bit like someone's had their finger in it. I mean, that's what testers are for. And this is the PS Chocolate Eyeshadow Palette in it actually really does smell like chocolate. So let's see what we can do with this. And this was three pound, which I think is a bloomin' bargain. So I'm just gonna use this shade and just put it on my lids, just so we have some sort of base. Oh, that's actually really pigmented. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see that, but it's applying really nicely and they're very creamy. All of these products I would say so far have been like creamy consistency, which I find is really, really good for application because they just like glide on. You don't have to force it. Apart from that highlighter, subtle difference there but that's fine because I'm gonna go on top of this with the silver one there we go love it and there is a lot of like excess but like I said that's fine and then I'm gonna go in on the whatchamacallums the crease lid with this one here so take that tap it off and just go in and I mean for a three pound eyeshadow palette, this is like applying really nicely. The formula's nice, the pigmentation's nice. I mean, look at that. Three pound, that's like a pound each thing. One, two, three. Mass less than the Caroline. So that is really, really nice. I really like that, like how warm is that? And then just on this eye. And there we go, so that doesn't look too bad. What I'm gonna do now is, I'm thinking because this is so glittery, I mean, how pigmented is this? Oh, shiny. So I think what I'm gonna do is do the cut crease. And then again on the other eye. She said, do you love me? I tell her only slightly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, hey. 
Okay, so now that's on. Let's try it with the silver. Let's take that and pop it on top. Oh my god, that's what we wanted. Look at that. Yeah. That's, oh. Yes. I'm gonna use that silver one just for an inner corner shade. Just so we have a little bit of sparkle on the inner corner. There we have it. And I am really impressed by that. I mean, three pound. So next, I'm gonna go in with eyeliner. Oh, I haven't even opened this one. This is the PS Iconic Eyeliner Pen. And this was two pound. And it just looks like this. It's got a little nib on. Cool. Oh, that was very like beauty. So now I'm looking like close up my face. I can see there's a lot of fallout from the eyeshadow. Like, a lot of fallout. I'm like, sparkling everywhere. The pen's applying really nicely. Let's go in for the win. Mm. It's quite like scratchy, so like when I'm doing it, it's missing parts of my skin out, so I'm having to go back on it. Yeah, see, it's like missing bits out. I feel like I need to give it a shake. Okay, I'm not a fan of this pen at all. I feel like doing one wing is gonna take me forever. I'm quite disappointed actually because everyone said that this is, well not everyone, but people have said this is really good, but I feel like I'm just having to shake it quite a lot. I mean, it's not too bad, you can see that. It's taken quite a long time to do that. And if you're in a rush, you don't need to be like scribbling in your eyeliner. So we'll try and do this one, see if this is any better. I feel like I just wanna like throw this away and get out my trusty old collection, but I'm gonna persevere so we can see the end result. Oh god, this is just some rubbish. Who told me that this was good because I'm coming for you because this is just an effort. Like, I feel like I really have to like scrape into my skin just to get anything out. Okay, I'm like over this now. If you're ever running late for work or school, I do not recommend using this because you'll be even later. It doesn't look, I mean, the end result isn't too bad. I mean, the wing's there, the line is there, but it's very time consuming. So if you want a good arm workout, then definitely use this because there's a lot of this going on. But otherwise, no, it's a no from me. Next, I'm gonna move on to mascara. And there's actually a lot of choice for the mascara in Primark, um, but I went for the PS Amplified Definition Volume Lift. I think there was a lengthening one and a waterproof one and there was another one because they're all a bunch of different colours but I can't remember what it was. So this one's more of like um, a coppery pink sort of colour. It looks gold but it's not. And this was £2. So let's see. Well, first of all it's like a plastic applicator which I'm not too fond of. Get off there. They're just a bit like scratchy on my eyes. I have really sensitive eyes. But let's give it a go. Ooh, did you hear that? Let's give this a little go. That's like, I don't even know the word I'm looking for. I'm like gobsmacked. I really, really like this. It's true to the word, it lengthens. Wait, did I do length or volume? It volumizes and lengthens. So, you got a double whammy. It's very intense. I'm not gonna have to put that many quotes on. There we have it. That's really good. I'm really, really impressed with this. If you want volume and length, I would definitely say to pick this up. We're done with the eyes. For brows, I picked up the PS 3-in-1 Precision Pencil and Powder. This one's in the shade Tobacco, which is this one. This was the darkest one that I could find. This is like 3-in-1, so let's see. Oh, that's a really nice nib. It's like a, a triangle-y. Can you see that? It's got like a triangle on the end. I don't know if it'll pick it up. <gasps> Just waving it in front of your faces. And I think that might be an all right color, let's swatch that out. So that's that there. I think that'll match, that should be fine. And what else have we got? I really like the layout of this actually. Oh, oh, it's twisty. Okay, oh, we got a little spongy applicator there. I like the sponge. Twist that on, and what's on the end? <gasps> a spoolie, yes. 
I've been wanting a brow product with a spoolie on the end for ages and the only one that I know of is the brow archery one and this one's got it from Primark. I'm pretty sure this was £2. And we we'll start off with the pencil and see how this goes. Oh, it's very, very, very pigmented. <laughs> like super dark I and mean, you can see that already oh this is a little bit terrifying i'm going to try and go as light-handed as i possibly can this is very very dark oh somebody help me maybe this was the wrong color for me i think what i'm going to do is go in with the sponge and two and just try and do a bit of fading oh my god even the sponge end is pigmented look at that like how dark is that what is that Okay, I'm gonna do the other one and see if we can tidy this up somehow. I don't know how I'm gonna do that because I'm not a miracle worker. How much nicer does that one look than that one? So I'm gonna get the spoolie and try and like brush this product out. Please work. Oh, that's quite hard as well on the skin. I and mean, this is just an absolute mess. This is 100% too dark for me. This one doesn't look too bad, but this one, come on, I look like Cara Delevingne, which I love by the way, but look at that. God damn, no. Okay, I never want to see this product again. It is the worst thing in the world. You go over there and leave me alone. So that's kind of ruined the whole thing now, hasn't it? Okay, so let's try and salvage this mess with lips. Stupid me went to pick up a lip kit, a matte one. I saw this and it's in the shade peanut butter and I was like, yes, peanut butter, get over here. I like the colour, it's just like a nudie brown sort of colour. And I get home and I realise it's a gloss, not a matte lipstick like I wanted. And I do not wear gloss, I don't really like gloss. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to use this and see what we can do. And will it try anything? Maybe it's nice, maybe I'll love it, maybe I'll turn into a gloss gal and this was three pound as well by the way i've been wanting to pick up one of these lip kits for ages after seeing like everyone talk about them and of course trust me to pick the wrong one story of my life okay so i'm gonna go in with lip liner which is just this color here it's a really pretty brownie nude sort of color it's not like when you use a new lip liner and it's like scratching your skin it doesn't feel like that it's really really soft and i like the color Oh my god, I love this. I feel like this is one of those lip liners that I would just put all of my lips and use as a lipstick. It actually, actually looks like my Velvet Teddy. And if you didn't know, I have lost my Velvet Teddy in the back of a taxi. So this has came just in the nick of time. I'm pretty pleased with that. And now for the gloss. So this is the PSI Shine Lip Gloss. I'm hoping it's not sticky. It smells like chocolate, which is weird because it's called peanut butter, but I'm fine with both. That doesn't look too bad. Like I said, I don't really like glosses, but as far as they go, it's not sticky, it's not too thick, it's a really nice colour. I mean, I think I kind of like it. I like it. Primark, you have conformed me to gloss. Let's see, what do I think? I mean, am I like overwhelmed? I don't know. I really like the foundation. I really liked the concealer and I think the lips as well. So foundation, concealer and lips are definitely my favourite. Things that I would not pick up again are the eyebrow pencils. I mean, I'm just going to do this all day now. <laughs> and the eyeliner. That was an effort and a half. I mean, Primark absolutely killing it at the moment with their makeup like selection range they've got so much going out there they've got some amazing things they're affordable and i mean what more could you want overall it's a thumbs up to prima if you like this video which i really hope you did i had a lot of fun testing the makeup out then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and if you'd like me to test any more makeup out then just leave some comments below um tell me which ones you would like and i hope you have a great day bye